everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is on how to contour or lift downturned eyes with makeup. I also included tips for Asian eyes and stubborn lashes, so let's start. I'm starting with a dark brown pencil liner to create the base shape for our wing. Next, I'm using a liquid liner to create a sharp edge for the end of the wing. Blend a dark brown eyeshadow into the wing to set it and soften the edge. This will ensure the liner lasts all day and also makes it look less harsh. Let's clean up the wing. If you want to create the lifted eye effect, only clean up the inner corner of the eyeliner and maybe the end of the wing if it isn't sharp enough. If there's more eyeliner on the inner corner, your eyes will look more droopy and dolly. If there's less, then your eyes will look more upturned. Next, fill in the lash line with a pencil liner. In the past, I did this with the liquid liner, but pencils are more creamy, so they create a tacky base, which will help the lashes stay curled at the root longer. Use the same pencil to fill in the waterline. I'm curling my lashes starting from as close to the base as comfortably possible and pulsing the eyelash curler as I work my way upward. For mascara, I'm using my favorite Etude House Lash Perm Curl Fix Mascara. This is the best mascara for holding a curl, even for stubborn Asian lashes. I will say it can get clumpy, but you just need to know how to work with it. So how I do it is, after applying one or two coats of mascara, I go in with a tweezer immediately and squeeze the top of my lashes together, separating them into sections as I go. This creates a false lash effect while removing any clumps so you can have more volume in your lashes while keeping the natural tapered ends. Now let's create the shape of the lower lash line. Using a cool toned brown eyeshadow similar to a contour shade, I'm extending the lower lash line and angling it upward. Pull that line straight down from the other side as well. So you've probably seen people draw their lower lashes on, right? But I still think it looks too harsh, even if the lines are very fine. So what I do is I dot the lower lash line with a dark brown eyeshadow to create the illusion of thick lower lashes casting a shadow. You'll notice it looks a lot more realistic after you apply mascara on your lower lashes. It looks kind of scary, but I'm curling my lower lashes close to the root so they point downwards and look longer. Apply mascara following the same tweezer separation steps as earlier. Next, I'm applying shimmer to the inner and outer corners. This brightens up the eyes and adds a bit of dimension since everything so far has pretty much just been dark brown. Go back in with a dark brown eyeshadow on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Make sure this is darker than the contour shade we used to draw this line earlier. This will make the eyes appear more upturned. If you guys have the Kaja Chocolate Dahlia Beauty Pento, that's what I've been using for this entire look. It's my go-to eyeshadow trio since it just has all the shades I need. Using a nude pencil liner, I'm cutting the line to make it cleaner. This also creates contrast for the eyeshadow we just applied, which emphasizes the upturned shape. I'm next applying a wash of eyeshadow to add some depth since my eyes are pretty flat. At this point, you can curl your upper lashes again if you want them to be super curled. This is usually where I end my everyday eye makeup, but I wanted to show you a lash hack that can make your eyes look even more upturned. I find Japanese lashes are the most flattering for my everyday looks since they're made specifically for Asian eyes. The ones I'm using are Mish Blue Minute Nudie Brown. They're a little bit longer than my natural lashes and have the separation I like. Plus, they're a dark brown color, so they match the eyeliner and don't look too harsh. To lift the eyes even more, apply the front and middle of the false lashes as close to your natural lashes as possible without getting any glue on them. Then, take the tail end and apply a little above your lash line. So, instead of applying them parallel to your natural lashes, the end is just a little bit higher.
and that's it. I think this eye makeup would be flattering on anybody, but the effects are most dramatic on those with downturned eyes. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any other tips, feel free to share them with everybody in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!